All right, guys, today I'll be walking you through a business credit card application. We are on Amex.com. I'm not a pro editor, so this is just how we're gonna have to do it today. So let's just begin. So your email address, you wanna make sure you have a professional email address. You can get one from the G Suite. Um, it's like $6 a month. The cheapest one is $6 a month. You do not need the $30 a month option. They have a lot of different options. Get the $6 one, unless you're like a bigger business, but it's a each to own, you decide, but you really, it's $6 a month, which is just when you have your domain name in the email. So like my business is Capri Hair Care. So I have help at CapriHairCare.com. So that's what you want to put for your email address and then it's going to ask you for your legal business name so you just enter that that's self-explanatory what i really wanted to get into is the business address line so to make your application seem more like you're established you want to have a business address for your business so you can get a virtual address and we'll talk about that in a second um, or you can have a physical address so if you go to ups the ups store they have mailboxes and it will give you, you can use their address instead of going to like USPS where you can only have a PO box because some applications don't allow you to have a PO box. So UPS, get a regular mailing address, business address, and you'll be good. So that's what you want to apply and enter for your business address. Oh, for the virtual address though, there are websites you can sign up and apply for a virtual office slash address and I will include these in the description but they are regus.com, Opus Virtual Address, vir Opus Virtual Offices, wework.com, and anytimemailbox.com. So those are just a few options. And then for the business phone number, which is the next prompt, I personally, won't lie to you guys, I always use my phone number, but if you do want a business phone number to again, make sure you're established, make sure you look like you are a real business on the application, um, you can apply for a business phone number at grasshopper.com and onesuite.com. So those are two options. Get yourself a nice little business phone number. Um, and let's continue. So after you apply, enter your business phone number. You're going to enter your industry type, company structure. Are you an LLC? Are you a corporation? Are you a sole proprietor? Usually you're going to be an LLC, but you have like some kind of online business. Um, Years in business, blah, blah, blah. So for your annual business revenue, you don't want to enter what you currently make right now because if you're making like under $50,000, you might not get the limit you could get. So what you want to do is research what the like average business in your industry is making. And that's what you want to enter for your business revenue. For example, some of my competitors are making $20 million a year. Some of them are making $10 million a year. Some of them are making nine hundred thousand dollars a year so that's really what you want to enter you don't want to be like hi i just started my business i make ten dollars a month no say your estimated revenue is twenty million dollars a year and that is how you can increase your limit nobody's gonna come for you you're not gonna go to jail so uh, that is what you want to do and also just another point about the business address if you already filed your llc and you didn't have one and use your personal address you can still change it but your LLC information is public record. So anyone can look up your LLC information online and if you used your personal address and now they know where you live. So if you, you know, had poor customer service and your customer said this, this, this LLC and found your address, you know, people are crazy these days. I wouldn't want my address online um, for anyone to look up. So just make sure you are having a business address, please. Moving on. Federal tax ID, your EIN number, which is free. You just type in EIN number like on Google and the website will pop up. It takes like 10 minutes to get one, blah, blah, blah. And then it's just gonna ask you for your personal information. And that is it guys, that is the credit application. It's super simple and I think those tips I just gave you will really help you, um, will increase your odds for approval. And another thing is apply for your business credit card I know this sounds crazy, but between the hours of 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. because there is no live person looking over your application. So people say those are the best times to apply. Um, I mean, I've done both and I've gotten approved, but it's worth a try if you keep getting denied. And then also, what was I about to say? Oh, um, something a lot of people do is they'll go on their computer. I'm going to show you guys this real quick. So you can log in or just put in all your information. You don't have to 
even make an account just put all your information in especially your email go all the way to the end when you're about to press submit exit out of the tab so what that'll do is it'll save your email information it'll save everything you put in but it's going to remind you in a couple of days um to finish your application so in a couple of days they'll email you hey this is your american express application click here to finish and then that link use that link to finish your application and it'll increase your um, approval odds so those are some gems if you're not getting approved um it does american express does check your personal credit i think i don't think they ever gave me a hard check but i'm not saying that'll be the case for you but i really like american express i'll leave my link in the description for you guys these tips were not just for an american express application all the questions on all the business applications are the same um and so this will work no matter who you're applying with um, I do like American Express for business credit. I also heard that Chase is really good for business credit, but you do have to have good personal credit um, for Chase. And But if you don't have good personal credit, you can start with a secured card for yourself to build up your personal credit. Um, some other cards that are good, SkyMiles, which is American Express. JetBlue has a business travel credit card, which I kind of wish I knew about before I got my SkyMiles card, just because Delta has a lot of connecting flights. Like, majority of Delta's flights are connecting flights, and I don't want to, like, we're already on the way to the destination. Why don't you just drop me off? So JetBlue doesn't have really that many connecting flights in my experience. So I wish I would have gotten a JetBlue travel card. Um... I haven't gotten one yet, so I can't really give you my opinion on it, but I do plan to get one in the future, and I'll keep you guys updated for sure. Um, who else? Obviously, Capital One. I do have a Capital One business credit card. It's all right. It's really nothing special. And I will say, like, nothing special in terms of, like, what it can give you, like, the perks. Like, Sky Miles is amazing because I can travel for free. Amex also has hotel cards like Hilton and Marriott cards where you can now stay at the hotel for free. So not only are you flying for free, your hotel is free, and now you really just have to worry about food, which you're going to earn points on. Again, it's the cycle repeats, like I'm in love. So, but the other thing I will say, if I was, when I was just starting out, I wish someone like warned me about the APR rates. So if you are getting your first business credit card, make sure you're getting offers and incentives that give you 0% APR for like the first year i know bank of america sometimes does zero percent apr for like seven months which all right you couldn't give me whatever um take whatever you can get because that will definitely be a huge help if you are not paying your balances in full every month if you are great but you also never know what could happen so just make sure you get that zero percent apr rates and that's really it what else if you think of anything else, I will definitely let you guys know. I recommend Amex. Out of all the business credit cards I have, Amex is my favorite. I know some people talk trash, but it's just like, what are you talking trash about? It's just, you can't please everybody. And that's a whole different video. I'm going to y'all go before I, <laughs> you know. Alright, peace and blessings. See you guys later.